What's going on guys? Everyone's been asking me for a 2018 setup video, so here it is. All right guys, so I've got the same truck, 2008 GMC Denali, all wheel drive, 6.2 liter engine. We move to the back of the truck here. This is what I carry with me on a day to day basis. I got my trimmer line. I got my 50-50 uh, mix, got my non-ethanol fuel, and then got me a cooler, a cooler to stay cool. New trailer upgrade this year, guys. Uh, a lot of people haven't seen this yet, so here's that for you. So this is a uh, 2018 load trail, and uh, it's got brakes, it's got the breakaway box, it's got great wiring, bulldog hitch, radial tires, uh, LED lights, spring assist gate. It's a huge upgrade compared to the last one I had. Absolutely love this thing so far. It's been great. My camera's fogging up because I came outside from the inside. It's crazy. So uh, let me wipe this lens down here. <clears throat> Moving on. Uh, we do have a PB770T, but I have been using the fire out of this BR600 here just to uh, be able to do a review between this and the 770T. So y'all be watching out for that as well. That's why I've been using this thing all year. Then we have two trimmers and an edger. My edger is a PE266 Echo. Uh, so we got the PE266 here. Then, uh, you know, we're using all equipment defender racks on the trailer. Uh, this is a brand new 2620T that I just purchased uh, about a week ago. Well, not even a week ago. So uh, we got the new 2620T. Then we got the 280T on the bottom. This is the 280, 2620, PE266S. And it's S because it's straight shaft. Straight shaft. So, uh, you know, we got tie downs, everything, spring assist gate, like I said. I put a D or I put E track system on my trailer because it makes it easy to tie down. I can just move these wherever I want and strap down wherever I want, which makes it tons of easy. So, uh, I got my E track and my D rings from uh, DC Cargo Mall, and uh, I absolutely love them. My, my trailer's black powder coated, so I went ahead and got the black powder coated E-Track system as well. And we still got the two, the, uh, the Toro Grandstand here, 2017 model, bought it last year. Upgraded from the Skag to this. Uh, got the power chute on it, so strap down. Then we got the 30 inch Toro that uh, has the 10 foot pounds of uh, torque engine, Briggs and Stratton thing is absolutely huge upgrade compared to the old ones that have the 8.75, 8.25 uh, foot pound engines with the 10 foot pound this thing is a beast. Then we got uh, we got the big league lawn kit on everything here. We got it on that. We got it on the grandstand. I've got one for this. I've just got to put it on. Then uh, this is what everybody's been waiting for I guess. I bought the uh, Z Master with the My Ride system. So, uh, you know, this is the 3000 series. I didn't see any reason to have to upgrade to, you know, a five or 6000 series. This one's gonna do everything I would like for it to do with, you know, what I need it to. So, this is the new Z Master right here, guys, I purchased. And so far, I absolutely love this thing. Um, as you can tell, all my equipment's pretty clean. I wash it weekly, uh, so you know that's that's just how I prefer to do things. <clears throat> but we got the My Ride system. If you haven't tried one of these, go try one. This thing's absolutely phenomenal. Eight gallon fuel tank. You get about a acre, a little over an acre on a on a gallon. So you know works great. Got my cup holder and everything on this. So. It's absolutely fabulous. I'll do a video for y'all, let y'all know why I purchased a set down over a stander um, for a bigger mower. But other than that guys, quick straps. Uh, these are the quick loader ratchet straps, retractable ratchet straps. I got a video that uh, 
will be out on these if it hasn't already been out so all right guys you've been hounding me about that 2018 setup this is what i carry on a day-to-day -day basis with me on my trailer and in my truck and then all of a sudden i've got a a uh, got a book in there that tells me all the properties i do i print out a sheet uh, every day that tells me the properties that need to be done for that day and then i put it in my little binder and move on so i hope y'all enjoyed this if you have any questions about anything i run how i like it anything like that feel free to comment down below and ask but uh there's your 2018 setup thanks for watching guys like comment subscribe and see you in the next one